Hi, welcome back or welcome if it's your first time. Why as soon as I hit that button, dust starts flying from somewhere? It has, the whole time I've been sitting here setting it up, nothing. I hit play, oh, excuse me, record. <laughs> and as soon as I do that, like literally something just went and I don't, my ceiling fan's not on. I have no idea. Well, I mean, it's probably the fact that we have three cats and a dog, but how embarrassing. Jeez. Um, also, oh, I'm Bobby <laughs> with Pumpkin Creek Primitives. I um, have an Etsy shore. Shore? Okay, so that's how we're going to start off this morning. Store. An Etsy store. Um, I have a ton of stuff again, guys. Um, I thought I would show, I actually have some finishes I can show. Um, three of them were gifts, so I'll have to put, um, pictures up when I talk about them. Um, but the other two I have right here. Well, they're not like fully finished. They're just done cross-stitched. Um, and then I have to like finish them. Um. The other three, the gifts were finished. Obviously, I'm not going to just pass off something. Be like, here you go. Have fun. Um, so, yeah. Let's get started with those. Oh, and also, if it looks like I've been, somebody tried to decapitate me. A big scratch there. That would be my seven-month-old asshole puppy, Jasper. Um, I'll put a picture of his little asshole self right there. He is the sweetest, cutest little thing, but he's a teenager right now. Doesn't know his name, forgot all the commands he's been taught, and he thinks it's super fun when mom gets him to take him out to go potty that we should do a complete aerial somersault in the air and jump up as high as we can and then paw her in the face and the neck because he also kind of busted my lip a little bit. Um... And of course, I immediately yell at him, you hurt mommy. And then he immediately felt bad. And then I felt bad for yelling, but man, he's killing me. I, I'm ready. I'm ready for a one-year-old. I'm ready for a one-year-old. Although with German short hair pointers, I don't know if one's going to be any better. Um, how about this? I'm ready for hunting season. So my husband can start training him. Um, and he can go run all that fun energy out in the field. That'll be awesome and interesting all at the same time. I've never bird hunted. I don't know the first thing about it. My husband hasn't in forever, so we'll see. Poor dog. Okay, so the first two, sorry, I keep scratching my face and stuff. Um, my finishes here is part of how about that I did not have, because I say this backwards every time. <sighs> Country Cottage Needleworks. Country Needleworks. God, that's embarrassing. If this wasn't recording, I could tell you what it was. I'll put it up there if I jack that up. But they have a cottage of the month. That may be why I'm trying to throw cottage in there. How do I not? Hold on. I can cheat later. I have another pattern for them. But that is my June. And it's so cute with the little ladybugs. I hope you're seeing that okay. I know it's like see-through, but. And I did this is on um, 14 count Witchell white chocolate. And I think I ordered some of this to have it in my shop. I not think. I know I did. I did it yesterday. <laughs> My memory's not quite that bad. And then the other cottage, and I'm all over the board with <laughs> the ones I did. And that's January. Not 100% sure how I'm going to finish them. Um, I have all the patterns. I've only done two. I try. I really try. Um, and this one is stitched on. It's something for hobby from Hobby Lobby um which is fine I mean it it works y'all see it stitched looks fine just like the other one did um but it was before I really knew that much about fabrics and the ones that are 
easier to work with and uh, basically is all Hobby Lobby has is 14 count. They may have a few 16 counts, but um, yeah, that was before I knew. Um, before I got informed, not that I really know, I'm still new. I'm not claiming nothing. So the other, the ones that are actually FFO'd, and I agree with Nick Stitches, I really think it's finally F and over is what that should stand for. Um, but it's fully finished object. Um, I only have three. No, that's not true. I have four. Oh, that's so exciting. <laughs> I have four finished. <laughs> so sad. Um, I did a Sasquatch for one of my friends. Oh, and I have to give a shout out to her daughter. Hi, Savannah. She watched my last floss tube and kept asking, where's our shout out? Where's our shout out? So Savannah, hi, honey. And you keep stitching. I'm so glad that you were into this at such a, well, I don't want to say young age because you're, bec you're becoming, you're, you're getting a teenager. Um, so I did a Sasquatch for her and I'll put a picture up here. Um, this was my first completion. Yeah, this was my first. Um, and then for another friend of mine, I did this butterfly for Christmas. I gave both of them theirs for Christmas. And um, I got this one on Etsy and I'll have to put down here who did the patterns I'm bad and I don't since I don't even have it here to look at I'm real bad about it um, and then I did a cock le cock for my mother uh, I'll put it right here and I absolutely did not stitch rooster on it on purpose so that my dad could snicker every time he sees it um, and so my mother could roll her eyes and be completely um, appalled by me, you know, it's what we do. It's me and my dad's, it's our thing. <laughs> so, um, yeah, that turned out really cute and that's JBW designs. And I actually have that rooster, uh, in my Etsy shop and it stitched up so fast. I think I did it in two to three days. Now, one of those days, it was about a five hour day. Um, but I would say I stitched it in less than, less than 10 hours, easy. Um, which, and I'm slow stitching cause I'm still new at it. So somebody else that's really, you know, been stitching for a while, you guys will nail it really fast. So, and then the next FFO that I have, and I'll put it right here, is a little Harry Potter. Um, Friends of ours just had a baby and their whole um, nursery, and it's amazing, is done in Harry Potter. Like it has a whole mural on the back wall and everything. So I did this little uh, very quick stitch. And again, I'll put down below, I got it off of Etsy. Um, and it's terrible. I have an Etsy store and I would hate for somebody just to be like, oh yeah, I got it off Etsy and not name the store. So I will absolutely put those down here. Um, it's just terrible that I'm always ill prepared. Um, we're already nine minutes in. I talk a lot. I'm sorry. All right. And I have so much. Okay. So the next thing I'll show is some of my whips. And I have some that I didn't show last time. Uh, mainly because I didn't know where they were. Um, other reasons, some of them I just forgot about. Yeah. That happens. So, and I know that. Kansas City Girl in the Colorado World, she stitched this or is stitching this at some point. I've watched a video where she has it, and this is by the Witch, Witchy Stitcher. Um, and she has a website and an Etsy store. And um, I'm actually stitching this for a friend of mine. So, surprise! I hope she doesn't watch. I mean, like, I hope she watches, but. So. I don't have that much more to go. I just gotta, gotta get it done. I gotta get on it. 
Um, it's been at work because I was stitching on it at work and then I, um, hi Arlo. I was stitching on it at work and got sidetracked. Hey buddy. Uh, Skeeter Ray will definitely not be in this video and I apologize. He had a vet appointment this morning and he got his rabies and his other two boosters, leukemia and something else. So he's sleepy and so he's sleeping and he's a little upset because he got shots in the butt. So, and then Arlo's just going to be a creeper and just creep on by and not be on camera. It's probably because I have so much stuff piled up here he can't jump up on the table. So now he looks like he's over there sulking. I have dramatic animals. I'll put a picture of him there though. My little buddy. Oh, that's not a whip. I'm just grabbing the wrong stuff. I finally gave Pickety a head. She got a head, guys. Um, <laughs> she has no face because I didn't have any of that floss and I had to go buy some of it. I thought I had it, but it was like the one color I was missing. So, there she is. And now I just gotta give her face and hands because right now her cauldron is just levitating. But I got her hair done and her little masky thing, blindfold creep thing. And then I got the, the year. I got that done and then I didn't get much on this one. I finished the two L's and then I started the little swirl at the bottom is where I got on that one. Um, I had all intentions of like being amazing and banging out a bunch of stitching and my highly dramatic puppy because my husband worked the last two nights, so he, he didn't have anybody else to keep him distracted. He just wasn't having it. I mean, I would sit in my stitching chair by the that's across from the bed, and he would stand on the bed and just whine at me because he couldn't be with me. But he can't be with me because you can't do anything because um, he's every everywhere. Um, so I just got tired of looking at him. And then at one point he's laying down with his big murk face. He's got his lip is pushed up on the middle bed and all you see is his teeth. And he just on that lick in my bed, like a weirdo. And so then I was like, all right, fine. I'm done. I'm done. Um, and then I just get into bed with him and just be like, that's fine. We'll go to bed. No big deal. Um, I talked about the dark queen of the sea. Stitch along, mystery style. Then I showed you the beautiful fabric. I have it all kitted up. I have everything I need for it, but I do not, I didn't start it. But what I did do, oh, I'm gonna have this stuff everywhere. I did put it in um, the project bag that my husband made. <laughs> so, so he's only made these two. He made two of each of the different kinds. And so, um, yeah, I was hoping this is what I was trying to, this is the one I was trying to start last night. And um, Jasper just wasn't having it. And you got to find the middle of the fabric. And I was going to have to count over a bunch of stuff because the pattern's not exactly in the middle. And I, I just gave up. I know y'all can't see that I've got a calendar reminder, but it's annoying me. Make that sucker disappear. Okay. And now here's a dot dot goose bag. That's super cute. And I've got, oh, and I got the little bee. That's a little thread keep. I don't have any thread in it, but you throw your thread little pieces. Um, I'm using the one that's in the, um, let me show you just in case you're not familiar, which I'm sure some, most of you are, but just in case if you're a newbie like me. So this is the one that's in this bag, the dot dot goose and just catches all your little threads that I hold. Um, so it makes it just really, really easy peasy. 
Lemon squeezy. Lame. So the pattern, oh, let me show you the inside first. Oh. Isn't that cute? It's so cute. And I love bees. I already said that last time, but. Hey, I love bees. So the pattern is by Needle Bling Designs. I don't have this one in my shop, but it's really cute. So cute. And um, so I had most of like this whole part of the truck. And, um, God, it, cause this was, this was the second one. Sasquatch was the first one I completely finished. This was the second one I actually started. And, um, I had a lot of the truck done. It was so messed up and so miscounted and it, uh, so I frogged it all. <laughs> and, uh, there's where we're at. <laughs> This is as much as I've done. And if you can't see where it's at, it's this part right here. The teeny tiny little part. <laughs> so ridiculous. Ah, but I have a fierce needle minder on it though. Look at that, baby. And I'll put a I'll put it in there. It's a, a Etsy shop. And I buy mainly now I buy my needle minders from two places. One is Mad for Minders. The other one is Kim's Needle Minders. I'll put it below. Um, and I want to start making some of my own, maybe, and having them in the shop. I'm just testing it out. It's a lot. I want a Glowforge. This giant machine that laser cuts the wood and everything for you. Um, but yeah, I love these. The Cameo ones, but they're just a little, they're a little heavy. So, and I stitch in hand. Um, so they work great if you're using a cue snap or a hoop or a scroll, but when you stitch in hand, it really just makes that fabric heavy and lay um, weird. So mostly those heavier ones, um, I still buy them because they're gorgeous. And who knows, I may stitch in a cue snap. I mean, I own them. I, may st I bought all the things when I first decided I was going to do this a year ago. Um, I bought like everything you needed before I really realized <laughs> Arlo's playing out there with plastic bags. Um, before I realized what I even like. And so that's how you end up with all the things. Um, here's another bag by Stitch Toolbox. Isn't that beautiful? And I'll show you the inside when I take this pattern out. And just to show, this is how much I've progressed. I can't show you that part. Oh, country. I was right. Country cottage needlework. Is that what I said about that other one? <laughs> yep. Okay. So this is the pattern. I thought, oh, that would be so cool. I should laminate all mine. And then that way I can take, you know, the like transparency markers and mark off my stitches. No, no, was not a good idea. Was not a good idea. And I bought this one as a kit from Fat Quarter Shop. So it came with Arafil and it came with some Lori Holt uh, burlap fabric. Here's the inside of that bag. Isn't that so pretty? I love the little pulls. Um, but it came with this cute little case. And it holds all the floss in it. Super cute. Fat Quarter Shop does an amazing job. All right. Well, so when you're brand new at cross stitch and nobody in your family does it, and you have a piece of fabric that kind of looks like it's just a square, and um, you should measure. Cause I'm going to have to frog all of this <laughs> cause I don't know. I don't know. And unless anybody's got any ideas, I don't know what to do with that. This could never, I don't know how I'm going to finish it. 
I mean, I guess it should have went this way, but I don't feel like this way looks that much bigger than this way. I really didn't leave that much edge. Oops, I stuck myself with the pen. Pen. The needle. So, that's cute. I don't want to frog all that. So, if anybody's got any ideas, I'm open for it. Open for it. Because this was the first thing I started. I learned a lot. <laughs> got loose string. I learned a lot from it. And the number one thing is pay attention to your dadgum fabric. And don't laminate. I mean, if it works for you, it works for you. It doesn't work for me. Um, I know I showed... Sorry, I keep bending down. I like my shirt. My friend Amy, I think it was my birthday. My friend Amy gave it to me. Um, I'm pretty sure... I know I showed the hip-hop fabric, but I do not remember showing this bag. So, and if I did, I apologize, but I'm going to show it again. This is also by Stitch Toolbox. I, look at them. They are, look at those rabbit's ears. <laughs> I love this fabric. This bag is awesome. It's got a little dangles. So, yeah, it's awesome. But I know I showed y'all, and I, it's still just a carrot. It didn't get any further than a carrot. Um... One more that I've actually started, and I kind of forgot about this, and this is a secret, so shh, don't tell my husband. I'm doing this for him, and I'm going to do it um, in between the two mirrors in our bathroom in the master. It's got a um, pretty big space because there's like a plug, um, and I'm going to do it and frame it. And this was in Punch Needle and Primitive Stitcher magazine and it's called when I saw you and Maya Maja I, I cannot say your name and I am so sorry but I'm gonna make sure that everybody can see what that is and what this says is when I saw you I fell in love and you smiled because you knew and so I just think that's so sweet um He's going to think I'm sick because <laughs> I'm not normally that nice. I saw I'm not mean. I just, I'm not a romantic, I guess, but I want him to be. <laughs> um, and I put this on, <coughs> that was my own spit. Is that murder or suicide if I died? Oh, but I think I'm going to live through it. All right, we're good. Beautiful beige, 28 count linen. This is the first thing I've ever done. No, I lied. It's not the first thing I've done on linen. It's the second thing I've done on linen. The first thing was what I showed y'all last time with the Grimm's Fairy Tale. But I picked my own colors because that was all done in like, it's all done in reds. We don't really have anything red in our house. So I just try to do true two colors. And this is as far as I've gotten. <laughs> I don't even know what direction this is in. Oh no, that's right. So hopefully, I know it's all bendy fabric, sorry. And my amazing needle minder. I'm pretty sure that's mad for minders. Which now sells patterns. I see you, I see you out there. I don't think they used to. Like, I think I would have noticed. I've been buying needle, well, for a year, buying tons of needle minders. And then after I opened my shop, I was looking for minders and was looking at there's and I was like, Whoa, they have patterns now. Mm -hmm. I see you. All right, so now I've got some stuff. This is just kitted up and want to do, which a cat's obviously late on this. And this is... This is another Stitch Toolbox. It's a Christmas one. But what I have in it is, can't come out the bag. Oh, and the inside fabric. Super cute. 
All right, let me get this first page out because it's going to have a glare. And I got this off Amazon. And it's a uh, full coverage. So um, that's enough. I mean, I almost had to buy Hobby Lobby out of black DMC. It is a, <laughs> it's a lot. It's a lot. And then um, I didn't have any. And of course, he could go either. Like he's Christmas or Halloween. Actually, for me, he's year round. I have a Cincy uh, burner. That's freaking amazing. That's him. And he's out year round. So he just ain't up here anywhere that I can show you. Um, I finally put this one, my the Frankenstein, in a project bag. My little ones from Amazon because I don't have any more pretty ones. And uh, I don't know what fabric I want to do it on. And I don't know what color. And this is why it'll sit like this till Christmas because I'm indecisive. I have commitment issues. <laughs> That's exactly what it is. I have major commitment issues. I don't want to commit. It's probably also why I can't. I'm jumping around from uh, whip to whip and I can't just finish one. Mm -hmm. So this is the other sow that I was telling you about last time. Well, I didn't tell you. I told you I'd tell you about it this time. Um, it's by Creative Creatively Crafting. And um, I just off their um, Facebook page. And I'll put a link below. And this is the Halloween sow. And it... It's going to be super cute. I can't show you because it's a pattern. I mean, it is free, but I don't know. I don't know how that works. If it's a free pattern, if I'm allowed to flash it up here, if I'm allowed to flash you or not. I'm not sure. Um, it's really cute, though. I can tell you that. And I'm doing it on the Fabric Flare. The Province Dyed Effect. 14 Count Ada. So this which is really good and then look at that guy <laughs> so that's perfect for perfect for halloween sow and it's got really bright colors um it uses i know pumpkin medium pumpkin light i mean here's a handful of them beautiful bright colors halloween colors and yeah, this was the other one I was trying to get I don't know, that I was trying to get started on, and um, Jasper didn't let it happen. It didn't happen. All right, 28 minutes in, guys. Oh, and I'm also going to do a bonus video because I was reminded by someone you know who you are that I had a fabric video, a fabric haul video <laughs> that I had on my channel. Um, I did it in February. <laughs> There were so many promises made in that video that um, did not happen. I had to rewatch it just so that in case anybody asked questions or commented. <laughs> so I don't remember what was. I didn't even remember I did it. Um, pandemic happened after that. And then it was just like, pfft, I forgot everything. And which is crazy because my my job, because um, I am I do accounting, I'm a controller at a real estate development company. And we're, we do construction. So we were considered essential. So I've been going in this whole time. Um, so nothing in my normal schedule changed except for that it, to go to places I either needed to know what time they open and close and I had to wear a mask. Outside of that, nothing really changed for us. So why everything personally just went to shit, I have no idea. Oh, sorry. Just a little bit. It's not too bad. Sorry, mom. Um, okay, so I'm also part of the Stitch Quarterly, um, which is Fat Quarter Shop does. And we've gotten two so far. And then one's, I think, getting shipped out today. And it looks super cute. The bag's got a little pumpkin on it. But they come in these cute... Sorry, Bobby hair. Um, come in these cute little bags. 
project bag. I mean, it's amazing. It's great. And then this is what this one is. Ring light, don't hate me. Oh, there we go. So it is super cute. And then it comes with like little goodies. Like you get the pattern, get a little bit of fabric flair, fabric with it to do the project. Um, comes with all the flaws. It came with a little cute homegrown. And this is where you keep the little, oof, keep the little needle, little tin, super cute. All my other bags like have so much heavier. This just didn't feel like I had everything back in it, but I did. Um, and then this was the second one, America Spirit. And of course, I haven't started any of these because, oh, this one is still up in the bag. Um, so, isn't that cute? And then it came with, ooh, I like that, Vintage Country Mocha. That's pretty. It's a 28 count Lagana. And then it came with the threads, which are all your typical, sorry if you don't like crinkle bag noises. I love that song. Um, had its own little tin with the needle. Ooh, that was like one-handed. And it actually came with, these are magnetic. Stitch guides, line keepers for your pattern. And mine's still just sitting in the package. Because all my patterns are on um, my iPad, and which would have been great to know that before I laminated a handful of patterns when I first got them. Um, yeah, so I just do that. Even if there's something that's not a PDF, I just take a picture of it. It's real simple. And put it in iBooks and then blow it up and cross them off okay so here's look at all that floss Whew. this is a monstrosity and i've got the fabric for it is a 14 count country french cafe mocha <laughs> a lot of words and then i obviously got this for one two three stitch because that's how they package their stuff somebody's blowing up my messenger, and it's probably my husband who's downstairs, knowing I'm up here filming. So, this one, let me pull off the front page, is the Epic Storybook Princess. Is. Plural. It's by Cloud's Factory. And I hope that you can see that. I'm sorry I'm like creeping behind it, but I'm just trying to make sure it's in focus. And um, as a lot of Disney and then I've bought purchased separately the two little things that go in there I think it's Alice in Wonderland they're not princesses but Alice in Wonderland and then Pinocchio um yeah I have this weird blend of that I love super creepy stuff and Disney <laughs> I'm I'm assuming when I was made that there was like glitter and spiders thrown in I don't know it's weird. I mean, maybe it's not. Maybe that's common. To be like, love, love the super happy and the super dark. Yeah. So here's another one I have kitted up. And I actually have this one in my shop. Um, it's by Rosewood Manor. It's Quaker Compass. And this pattern has glare. <laughs> This pattern is gorgeous and I love compasses. And so it was like, it's perfect. And I have it all kitted up and I'm gonna do it on 14 count legacy. So buy a picture of this plus from one, two, three shop. One, two, three stitch. Why did I say one, two, three stitch? Still can't talk. And then my kitty needle binder, so cute. And this, what I grabbed to show you is not even a dent in my two carts downstairs. So, 
have all the things. <laughs> I have a problem, that's what it is. All right, and this one I have in my shop and it's selling like crazy because it's amazing. It's by All Through the Night and it's Oh Christmas Tree. And I actually think this would be, because a lot of the JW, JBW, JWB, crap. A lot of their designs are the same way. Um, they're the little motifs and that one, I know that rooster stitched up really fast. Um, I got this one kitted. I could show y'all floss, but I'm going to do it with Desert Mesquite. So, yeah. And then on Putty Linen, 35 count, Weak Style Works. So, can't really tell this one. But I think that will look really good. And I don't know if, I can't remember if that was a called for fabric or not. But, all right, I only got two more kitted up stuff and then we're moving on to shop stuff. We are 36 minutes in, folks. All right, so this, <laughs> they're all stuck together because they've been in the back for so long. This is all DMC, but I, uh, put it on the ring and made it pretty. This is gonna go in my bathroom. This one's by Unconventional Cross Stitch, or X Stitch, and she, or he, is on um, Etsy, has an Etsy store, it's Colossal Octopus. <laughs> Y'all, that's gonna take me years. And it doesn't even, I've had it for a year, it doesn't even have the first stitch in it. And I brought, I bought, I'm struggle bussing, the gridded, because, well, first of all, I don't trust myself to grid my own. Second of all, I feel like it's gotta be gridded. Um, I got my towel. I got towels and all these chairs because the cats want to sit in them and they get hair in them and I'm sliding off. Um, this bag is not dot dot goose and it's not stitch toolbox. Um, I don't know where I got it. It's huge though. Um, this is a haid. Oh, look out. Yes, I bought a haid. <laughs> Actually, I bought three. But this is the only one I kitted up. And she's divine. <laughs> ah, I love it. I love it. It's the Anna sleeves. Because I love Henry. Henry the Eighth. I mean, I have a needle minder with him on it. I have a needle minder of each one of his wives. Um, and then you'll see a pattern soon that I also personally own. Um, that I want to stitch up desperately. Um, so I thought, first of all, love cats. And then the fact that it's like a take on Anna Cleves is pretty, pretty funny. Okay. Parched. Well done. Got to get my Duncan high octane sweet tea. Whew. They put sugar in there. All right. Mm. It's diabetes. My cup. Okay, so in my shop. This will be coming to my shop this weekend. I hope this shows up because this stuff is gorgeous. It is. Weak Dye Works. 36 count linen. Havana. You guys. Ugh. I mean, it, I mean it, it's, it's named appropriately. I feel like it is absolutely cigar wrapper. I mean, it's, it's gorgeous. It is a gorgeous color. Um, but it's for y'all. Not me. I'm gonna have to buy some though. <laughs> I don't know what I would stitch on it, but I have to have something on it because it's gorgeous. Um, and I'm not into the browns, but this is like a goldeny brown fabulousness. I don't, can't even describe it. 
this one. I'm sorry if you can't do crinkle bags. There's also Weeks Dye Works and it's uh, 30 count linen and it's parchment. That's real pretty. You all right, buddy? He's making noises. So it's just a good neutral. Um, and then I've got to get these cut down and packaged up so that you guys can get them in my shop. And I feel like I keep rolling further away, but yet I know I'm not. Okay, and then I bought for you guys, um, oh, still smells like coffee. <laughs> Um, some fabric from the primitive hair and we have 30 count old Salem linen. Uh, I have three of these, but I think one of these are going to be mine. I think only two are going to get listed until I buy more because I love it. I don't know. Maybe I'll list all three and I'll buy more for later since I don't have a designated project for it yet. Or do I? I don't know. And then the other lin linen that I bought from her, it's also 30 count. It's called Tent Dust. Oh, it's so rich and so beautiful. I love it. Love it, love it, love it. What are you doing, buddy? You can come say hi, Arlo. You can come say hi. Come here. Hey, no? If I didn't run him up here, he would be up here. Hey, buddy. So, what did you do for 10 minutes? I tried to get my cat to get on the TV. Come here. Come on. You can do it. I think he smells the coffee and he's like, the hell is that? And he's like, no, mom, normally you push me away from up there. Come here. He has a bobtail. Buddy. Oh, he's right there, but he's not going to get in the frame. Come here. Can I move y'all? Arlo! <laughs> really? Say, really? I just moved you and... <sighs> it's gonna come out of this holder. Say hi! <laughs> that was a lot of work. And now y'all can see my trash can. Now we're just gonna lay on the laptop. All right. Let me get y'all back where y'all were. Now that I moved this whole thing. Well, different position. It's fine. It's probably crooked. Is it crooked? Sorry. Now you can see my trash can. Okay. Now we are on to the primitive hair part. Here we go. Let me scoot up. These patterns will be listed this weekend. We have Needlewoman. How amazing. We have Lizzie Borden. How amazing. I personally own that too. Oh, now you're going to be in the middle of my stuff? I'm running out of room. Be happy. Why are you... Why are you sniffing? You smell the coffee? You smell the coffee? Old Salem Broom Company. Oh, love it. And I love that little spider hanging off of there. Crow's Lullaby. Are you sniffing each one to make sure they're okay for everybody? No, now he's down. He's like, screw you guys, I'm going home. The Raven. I'm trying to get through these pretty fast because 
We're 45 minutes in. Edgar Allan Poe. Oh, that's so cute. Can't read backwards. The Town of Halloween. Wanted. <laughs> and this one is Season of the Witch. How great is that? And Little Women. So cute. I have three of each of these that are going in my shop. Carved. It's in like a crystal ball. I am. Um, Try to start off with two or three patterns, and then if I can tell that something's really selling, then I then I buy more. Never mind the witch. Beware of the cat. Super cute. Oh, Skeeter Ray's vet appointment. He's doing good. His little piggy self weighs four pounds. So, and I believe he's. Did she say he's eleven weeks old? I love this one. And it's so funny. Story about this. So it's Early Witches. I personally own this and I have the PDF, but I've never, um, I didn't really look at the pattern. Um, I just know that it had, um, is it Tatuba? Am I saying that right? I had my friend tell me like 15 times how to say it so that I could pronounce it. And now I don't know. And I apologize if that's not correct. And then we have Pickety again, where she's got a pumpkin head this time. And then we have Laveau. And then I thought this was some type of white witch just because she's in white, because I make assumptions and we all know what that, what to assume means. It makes an ass out of you and me. But when I opened this up and looked at it, it's the Bell Witch from Tennessee which is where I'm at. And uh, it's from Adams, Tennessee. And I'm really not that far from Adams, Tennessee. And I am terrified of her because when it's local legend, that's what you hear as a kid. And I am terrified of the Bell Witch. And so I got so excited when I realized that was the Bell Witch. And I was like, this was already my favorite pattern. Now it's really my favorite pattern. I love it. Sorry, sidebar. Ooh, Mother of Bee. Isn't that cute? I hope I'm not showing the back of these when I pull this down. I'll have to learn how to do, like, the sensor. <laughs> All right. Six Wives of Henry VIII. Isn't that pattern phenomenal? So I bought from um, Mad for Minders. I bought a minder of each of the wives. And so when I'm stitching her, I will have her minder on there. And then I guess just for, I don't really, because when you stitch in hand, you don't really have the need for the decoration part of having a needle minder there. Um, but I also have Henry, his crazy ass. Um, I have a needle minder of him and I have the Tudor Rose. So it's just for me to switch out. My husband's like, does not make any sense? Why did you do that? You only need one needle minder. It's because. Because I said so. It's for me. It's my personal care. And this one's Wicked Night. I love how she did the photo with the candle. It's awesome. I love the primitive hair. Isabel, she's amazing. Amazing. And then I own this one personally too black pearl and she's gonna go in the kraken bathroom and she will probably get done way before the colossal octopus does because let's face it the octopus is paid like 60 some pages <laughs> i haven't even finished charts that are one page <laughs> there's that all right the hocus pocus cabinet isn't that cool i love the apocatheric what are you doing in there? 
He's probably upset because his baby brother's not out there to play with, but he needs a nap. This rabies shot makes him tired. And this is the Pendle Hill Witches, which you guys have seen because it's the one I'm actively working on. And uh, I just love it. Love it. And then, pumpkin pie. Isn't that cute? So cute. And words, though. And this is trick or treat pumpkin stitch. <laughs> He's cute. I say he, but it could be a girl pumpkin. We don't know. It can be whatever he wants to be. Then we have the sea witch. How amazing. And I'm thinking, last one of primitive hair. Spooky countdown. That's so cute. And I actually had a thought. Um, she just has them up on a board and same here. But I actually thought, because these are a little bit 3D, and I had thought if, if I make them almost like little bing bags and buy, hopefully I can find it at uh, Goodwill or something. If y'all remember the, the old cabinets that would hold like golf balls or people that collected golf balls. If I got one of those and I think and measured it, I think those little bing bags would fit perfectly and then you could just put one up for when you're at that day. Um, and I think that would be super cute. And um, I think it would work. It's just the top and the bottom of the title page that I would have that I would have to figure out how to do that. But those look like they would fit in little cubbies perfectly. Okay, so I still have a bunch to show for the shop. So I'm thinking um, this should wrap up this video. And then I'll come back with a bonus video and with my fabric because I have more fabric haul from the other fabric video. And I feel like I never finished that story. Yeah, I probably didn't. Um, so yeah, I had a viewer mention that video. They got distracted and watched that one. They came to watch Floss Tube and watched that one. Um, so I have even more fabric since then. That, um, and I'll do a little bonus video to show that fabric haul. And they're all for the idea that I'm gonna make project bags. I have enough fabric in there to keep us all in fabric, fabric? Keep us all in project bags um, for a long while. Now I just need to convince my husband to make them because I'm super busy. <laughs> so <laughs> maybe, maybe if I just cut since I have the templates and you would know that from the fabric haul video. Uh, if I just cut out all the fabric, he can put it together. I'll cut it for him. I don't have a problem with that. It's just my sewing machine scares me. Because I can't draw a straight line, so it's real rough when I'm trying to sew straight. So, although I do quilting, I do fine with it. It's just, I don't know. I think it's different with quilting blocks when you're sewing a straight line that's this long versus a project bag where it's got to be, like, really long. Um, yeah, so I'm going to wrap this up. And I'll just come back with another video for the um, stuff that's coming in my shop this more, the Christmas and the other new stuff that came in that's all going up this weekend. So thank you so much for tuning in. And, um, oh, if you like the video, hit the like button. If you'd like to see more, subscribe and hit the little bell thing so that you know when I put out a new video. <laughs> Did not say that at all in the first video. Didn't even mention it. <laughs> but. I'm sure you guys know, but if you've watched other floss tubes, you know how it works. So, um, yeah, have a good rest of the day. I'm off today. I'm off Saturday, Sunday, Monday, and Tuesday. So a lot of stuff going up in the shop. So I'll be doing that all day, all those days. So have a good day.